Hi everybody. Um, my name is Paula. I just wanted to get on here and try to give my testimony for Plexus because I that's not something I like to do. I don't like all eyes on me. Um, I'm super shy and get stage fright. My face turns red and I start sweating. So this is a huge thing for me to try and do a video or talk in front of people. So, um, a little bit of back history on what has led me to Plexus. Um, I come from a family who the women are obese and struggle with their weight. Um, for the last five, and I have always tried to keep my weight under control. I, I seem to lose 40 pounds and gain it back. Um, but apparently I wasn't doing it the, the healthy way. Uh, for the last five years of my life, I've had a lot of stress. Um, I was the caretaker for my mother and working full time and taking care of kids and just, you know, being the, the rock of my family. And when that happens, you, you don't take care of yourself. You know, you take care of everybody else around you before yourself. Um, so I slowly put on weight and I didn't feel good and I would go to the doctors and she would be like, well here, let's put you on depression meds. Maybe that will help make you feel better and maybe you'll want to exercise and you'll want to do this and, and everything. And there's a history of depression in my family so I thought, okay, well I didn't think I was going to ever need that. but. I was at that point, okay, I guess I'll take it. Um, fast forward to December of 2013, my mother passed away from cardiac arrest at dialysis and um, I didn't get to say goodbye and it devastated me. It just shattered my world and my coping mechanisms are to eat emotionally and stress eat and my go-to is sweets. Sweets releases those endorphins in my brain and just makes me feel good even though 10 minutes later I feel like crap so it's a vicious cycle. Um, needless to say in 2014 between mom passing away I gained like 30 pounds in a matter of uh, I want to say nine months it just came on and it was weird because my stomach just kept growing and I couldn't figure out what is it what is wrong with me and I was having um, brain fog I was having bloated and cramping after meals making me so uncomfortable I'd be in pain by the time I came home from work because I sit at a desk all day um, I was having headaches every single day. My lower back and knees were hurting. Um, I was just a mess, a complete mess. And I was addicted to my allergy meds, the Allegra D. Um, I couldn't live without Allegra D. I would instantly have headaches without it and I couldn't think and couldn't breathe. My eyes would water. Um, she put me on a, a couple different depression meds because I didn't think the one was working. Everybody kept telling me, oh, it's grief, it's grief, Paula, it's okay, this is normal. And it wasn't normal. And this is something I've been struggling with for five years now. But before my mom passed away, I had that inner voice in me that was able to, you know, pull me out of whatever and keep me moving forward because that's what I do. Um, so, this past year in 2014, I didn't have an inner voice. I didn't know where to turn, I didn't know what to do. So, after months of not feeling like I could control what was going on inside me anymore, um, just trying to be like, well, maybe it is grief, but it wasn't, it wasn't a normal, I mean, grief was part of it, but it wasn't normal. 
uh, just, I just wanted to sleep all the time and I couldn't get enough sleep and I didn't feel like doing anything and I don't know, it was just a miserable existence. I spent a lot of time on the couch and I, I don't know, my quality of life was bad. I would be sitting at work at my desk and half of the, I, I mess with numbers all day long and I couldn't even, it was just to try to put simple tasks and focus on things, I had a hard time focusing and I, I really felt like I was dying inside because I could not make myself fix this, whatever was going on inside of me and make myself feel better. I couldn't fix it. Um, so that led me back to the doctor's office and I said, look, I, I, there's something wrong with me. I don't know what it is, but this is not normal and we need to figure out what it is that's causing me to feel like a walking zombie every day. And uh, that's when she played with my depression meds again, gave me a muscle relaxer, gave me um, a sleeping aid and I filled those prescriptions but I only take the depression meds because I'm not one that likes to take a bunch of medicines. So um, she sent me for a brain MRI and lab work. The lab work came back that my thyroid was showing hyper but I was having hypo symptoms which is kind of odd and she couldn't figure it out. She uh, sent me for a brain MRI to rule that out, um, thinking that maybe I have an M MS because I was having tingling in my hands and such bad headaches. Brain MRI came back normal. Um, my blood work came back normal, except for the thyroid was acting funny, and sent me to a, a thyroid endocrinologist. And the endocrinologist said, well, I think you just need to eat right and exercise, and I don't want to put you on any medicine. Well, I was thankful for no medicine, but at that point um, in my life, exercising and eating right it sounded like it was unattainable. When you come from a place of you're so depressed and you can barely get out of bed to go to work every day because all you want to do is stay in the bed. And I, I can't describe what a lonely, depressing state it is when someone tells you, oh, just eat better and exercise. When my existence was in three hour increments, my existence became iced coffee will get me through the next three hours. This bag of M&Ms will make me feel better for the next three hours. And that's what I became is living for every three hours to make it to the next time I could basically have my um, sugar fix and caffeine fix I guess so um, long story short is I got fed up I wasn't getting any results from the doctors I wasn't feeling any better I didn't feel capable of figuring this out on my own there was I felt like there was something causing all of this and I didn't know what it was. It wasn't just as simple as exercising and eating right. There was something else in the mix. Um, long story short, on Facebook, a couple of friends of mine that I graduated high school with, um, Amy and Julie, started posting about Plexus. Um, and I started seeing them post about Candida overgrowth. I had never heard of such a thing and leaky gut and I started going down the signs and symptoms of Those and I was my mouth dropped open because I was like, oh my gosh that that is me That is me and that's what I've been suffering with and it gave me some hope that okay I figured it out now and there I have hope that I can have my life back um so, I reached out to Amy, and she gave me information, and I reached out to Julie, and they both were very helpful, um, and told me what I need to do, and I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. I have to do this. My health is in that state where I, this, this is my last stop. I have to do something. I'm, 
So I signed up as an ambassador right away because I don't have a lot of money and I need to get the best deal I can on anything that I can get. So I signed up to get the wholesale pricing so I can get it for the cheapest price right off the bat. Um, with hopes that maybe I might have a few friends that need to get healthy too because and feel better because I had a few friends that were going through the same things that I was. Um, and within the first week, I started feeling like the fog lift and I was still tired because I had so much toxicity built up in my system from the sugar and every all of the things that I had been putting into it for the last nine months that I had done such a number on my system um, that it was going to take time, you know, to start feeling better. So I needed to get all of that toxicity out of my system and, it, and with plexus that was going to happen. I started feeling like, okay, the first week I still had a, a coffee and I still had an ice cream cone, but by the second week, none of that even sounded good to me. And I, that, that addictive urge that I had to have those things was going away. I was seeing a hope because before I couldn't control that. I had to have that to live the next three hours of my life. It was that bad. So I just started feeling so good and hopeful that Plexus, this is it. it and with that being said, um, I have been on Plexus for five months. I'm down 30 pounds and I am off my Allegra allergy meds. I'm off my depression meds. I'm not having headaches. I'm not eating um, Advil anymore for aches and pains in my back and knees. I can think and focus straight. Um, I forgot to mention that my hair was falling out and now my hair is growing again. Um, I just have like life in me again. I just feel better. And it's not about the weight loss. I could care less whether I lose another pound. But to be able to wake up every morning and feel alive and not feel like you're in this body that is dying and there's nothing that you can do about it, that's priceless to me. Um, so, Plexus, it's changed my life. And if you can, if you.